Hey YouTube, this is Trailhound here. Today I'm basically going to be showing you how to make <clears throat> my version of a chicken feeder. Um, pretty much using the same exact setup as Smoke Eater 908, except um, trying to show you what you can use that's readily available and rather cheap. So, for the tools, I'm going to be using, you know, uh, Dremel drill with a drill bit, of course. I have uh, an X-Acto knife there, and this is just a, a multi-tap. And that's going to be for the um, micro nipple. So, what I have here is a 1-inch PVC cap, a one inch to three quarter inch PVC reducer energy drink energy shot sorry bottle and at Walmart you can get these in the uh, travel section some Listerine I think this is a says 3.2 fluid ounces but when I got it it only had about that much Listerine, so I bet if you filled it up all the way, you'd get three and a half, maybe even four ounces in those bottles. So, I'm going to start, I've already started a little bit on this uh, cut out right here. Uh, I'm going to come 90 degrees from that. With my Dremel, I'm going to make a notch here for an air hole. And then that's basically just going to go straight down inside of the one inch fitting. And I'm going to drill a hole in the bottom of the one inch fitting. And I'm going to tap it and put the micro nipple in. The energy shot bottle, of course you can use it for your remote. But mostly I got it because I need to use the cap. Which fits perfectly inside of here and I can push it right down. I'm going to wrap it once or twice with some thread tape. Just to make sure it's sealed and drill out the end, end, end cap of it. The um, reason I use those caps and not these is because these are the safety caps. And once you drill a hole through the top of a safety cap, because you have to push down, the threads aren't connected to the safety cap. And you pretty much can't stop them from leaking after that. Plus I get to keep it so that I can pack it away without having it leak. Taken basically as you can see here 90 degrees from where I notched out for my nipple hole to be I've just pressed the side of my Dremel right down inside of here and made a nice groove now you can see that there's a lot of little plastic burrs and stuff and that's what the exacto knife's for I also used a exacto knife to clean this out and I'm going to clean that up and get to the next step Okay, got that D-bird cleaned up, it's got a nice groove in it, I don't cut it the whole way through, I could, but I like to make sure I have a really nice fit, very solid, gets real snug right about there, if I push that down hard enough, it'll fit all the way down there, I'll never need to glue it or anything, won't have to worry about it coming loose because I didn't cut the whole way through the side. So next what I'm going to do is there's a small line on the bottom of the caps where they're formed right about maybe not even just a few millimeters above that I'll start my hole for my nipple cap and just drill it right in here. It doesn't matter I can drill it anywhere I want to on the whole thing um, because I can manipulate this piece to line up no matter where that hole is. So I'm going to drill that hole and then I'll be right back. Okay, got my hole drilled. As you can see it goes right down into the bottom there. That's about where you want it. You don't really want it to come up above that or you're going to end up with some fuel laying in the bottom of your reservoir whenever you disconnect everything. So I'm going to take, that was a nine, uh, 964th drill bit by the way 
I'm going to take my multi-tap and uh, I'm going to tap it out here. This is a Klein multi-tap. It's rather old. I've used it quite a bit. And I don't know exactly what size tap this is. Um, could be 10, 30 seconds. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, it's the smallest of the large end. There's two ends. There's a small end and there's a large end. So it's the smallest of the large end. So I'm going to tap that and put the nipple in and be right back. All right. Nipples installed. Went in very firm. So I'm confident that it's not going anywhere and that it's not going to leak at all. So all that's left to do is line these two components up, press them firmly together, and install the energy shot cap. I gotta drill a hole in that. I'm gonna do that step and I'll be right back.